Hey everyone, my name is Trent, and on behalf of our group today, I'm going to be going through our project, Let's Catch Up. So, sit back, relax, grab a cold one, and let's get to it. Our game has three key ingredients. We have rounds, duck game, and Katamari Damacy. For rounds, we really liked the catch-up mechanic, where you could get a bonus or a perk after the end of each round. If you're not doing so well in the game, you'll get a better perk and if you're doing better, it might not be as significant. Given this works with a round based scoring, rounds works really well with this catch-up mechanic. Next up is Duck Game. While it is pretty simple, the things we liked from Duck Game were the random spawning weapons and the PvP up to four players. It's not a lot, but when it works in together with the catch-up mechanic and round based scoring from rounds, we think it'll come really nicely together. Last but not least is Katamari Damacy. This game was chosen for its use of PS2 era graphics, which is what the artist wants to specialise in for this game. With a low poly and semi photorealistic style, we think it'll go really well with the mechanics that we mentioned before and come together as a really nice game. We also used Katamari Damacy for its vibrant aesthetic, something similar to Animal Crossing, where it's very positive and bubbly, but mixed in with that semi photorealistic style. With these three ingredients mixed together, we think it'll come out as a really well designed game and hopefully you guys will really enjoy it too. With the game we wanted to make a multiplayer beat em up where up to 4 players can compete in a beat em up style arena with randomly spawned weapons placed in there. Each player gets one life and the winner of that round is the last one standing. Games will span over 10 rounds and the players gain points from the placements they have in each round. With the catch up mechanic we want to so that at the end of each round players can choose a buff from a randomised list. Players that come last will get the first pick, which will give them a stronger bonus than normal. These buffs will carry over from round to round, so they can stack up and work together. This will attempt to even the playing field, creating a more competitive environment and allow for an evenly bounced experience. With the weapon assortment, we want to have it so that the stage lets you spawn in random weapons into the map, which can include assault rifles, sniper rifles, rocket launchers, grenades, etc. So we want to have a bunch of different weapons as well as a bunch of different explosives because, well, explosives are awesome. Finally, there's the dynamic experience. Players will start with the same stats each, but for other rounds they'll gain different bonuses that all feed into each other, which creates a different playstyle for everyone by the end of the game. This also means that each time the game is played, players will have a different experience every time. With our first mood board, we focused primarily on games that had similar mechanics to rounds all had different styles that worked similarly to rounds. So games like Speedrunners, Stick Fight the Game, Game Beasts, um, Ultimate Chicken Horse, as well as some tabletop games like Dominion and Wards of Water Deep. Each of these games has a different way of approaching the catch-up mechanic or have a round-based scoring which is similar to what rounds does. So as a result we have great reference material for making the catch-up mechanic in our final project. Next up we have the experience. In our game, we want players to fight, jump, hit and shoot. We're doing this with bounced competitive experiences for everyone, where the catch-up mechanic will bridge the skill gap between each player and give better players a more challenging task to win each round, with the weaker players having a chance to play as a better character. With a fast-paced movement, we want movement to be the second biggest part of a game, alongside the weapons in combat. The movement system will aim to allow fluid motion around the map, which can be improved through a steady learning curve. Finally, there's the fast round progression. Each battle should only last about a minute or so, which will make the downtime between deaths short, and will put players back into the action quickly. With our second mood board, we focused on games that had similar ideas to Duck Game in terms of spawning random weapons and having 4 player PvP, or up to 4 players. So for this we have games like Mercenary Kings, Rivals of Aether, Broforced, Overcooked, Enter the Gungeon, Castle Crushers, Stick Game, and more. Some of them also show the aesthetic we're trying to reach with the more bubbly, positive vibes that we want from something like Kanamari Demacy, but that will be mentioned more in the next mood board. Next up we have the world of our game. Now, with the scenario, our game doesn't have any real story points. There's no plot, there's no climax, or a conclusion. The premise of this game is to be the best player in a match, and will focus on being a quick multiplayer game that's easy to pick up and play rather than being heavily focused on story and take away the interest and ideas that we had from our mechanics. With the setting, we like the game to take place in a variety of levels, like a boxing ring, island, desert, or even a pirate ship. The levels can also be modified with a catch-up mechanic, similar to how levels are modified in Super Smash Bros. 
For the characters, we'd like to try and make low-poly models similar to Game Beasts and Human Fall Flat, which will have different colours for each player and may have different designs, similar to what Rounds does with the faces. But these will be decided once the game is in a development phase and we'll have a better idea how to tackle that. Finally, we'd love to have a vibe which is based off Katamari Demacy. Something along the lines of Animal Crossing or Pokemon, which will work really well with this bizarre fighting game. Our final mood board focuses on the aesthetic that we want our game to have, with the vibe of Katamari Damacy, while also having a PS2 style of graphics with semi photorealism and low poly textures. For this, we have games like Silent Hill 2, Bully, Max Payne, Devil May Cry, God of War 2 as well as the more positive vibe games like Animal Crossing, Katamari Demacy, A Short Hike, as well as Dumb Ways to Die. This way we think we can get a nice balance between the two, which will come something similar to our third ingredient, and will blend really nicely with the other two games to make a really nice final project. As a surprise for you guys, we wanted to show you some concept art from one of our stages that we have in mind. Our amazing artist Will brought up this idea for a wrestling ring, which has similar vibes to something like Animal Crossing or Katamari Demacy. While it is still an early version, it already looks really cool and think it'll go really well with the mechanics that we've got in mind. We hope to show you guys more stuff later on in the semester. Last but not least, we have our references. We have a bit of a mix here with a mix of video games like the three main ones, Rounds, Duck Game, Katamari Demacy, as well as others that had similar ideas and similar aesthetics that we wanted to try and reach like Ultimate Chicken Horse, Speedrunners, Animal Crossing, Max Payne, etc. We also had a few tabletop games which had similar mechanics to what Rounds does for their catch-up mechanic. This way we have a variety of resources to use when making up our mechanic for the final game. I think that's the end of our presentation. I'd like to thank all you guys for tuning in, we wish you the best of luck with your projects, and we can't wait to show you ours. Thanks guys!